Hey guys, welcome to Miss Will 33. My name is Ray, and this one here we are going to look into G Dragon and Jenny. I will have timestamps down below along with information for personal readings, ways to contact me if you want to ask questions, and also my social media platforms. We're going to start off with looking into the current energy that lies between G Dragon and Jenny. Now, I do, I just want to give those of you a heads up. I do follow the cusp energy, so meaning if one one's birthday is for the maximum four days before or after the next zodiac sign, then therefore they can seesaw, teeter totter between each sign, and they can show up as both. The current energy between G Dragon and Jenny, please. The current energy between G Dragon and Jenny. Well, here we are starting off with our Empress card here. Could be Empress energy, the other half to the Emperor. So far, we do not have the Emperor right now, but we are also just starting out with the reading. It could be also representing at the same time as well, some form of a large project between them. Trying to revive some sort of Justified handout. The current energy between G Dragon and Jenny, please. Wow. Chain connection that is seen as an empress, but it manifests stress and confusion on what seems to be a possibility on starting new, starting afresh here between them. Wanting to hit the restart button, start over. The current energy between G Dragon and Jenny, please. This is a path from the past that he's that's being held on very tightly. I wouldn't say it's him that's, that's holding on tightly to this, but at this point it could be both of them holding on to something from the past between each other. And like both parties doesn't have to be focusing on something positive. Just so you are aware. Could also be focusing and reflecting on the past and thinking of the negativity, but you know, things like that are also what will draw in the wanted energy, too, and at times unwanted. We have a bunch of extra energies. I want to pause here and see, look into this. Queen of Wands, how they relate to this situation of the path here between G Dragon and Jenny. What is the relation with this Queen of Wands here with G Dragon and Jenny? Sneaky actions. This Queen of Wands, please. Why do we have this Queen of Wands here? Okay, 
It's a sneaky third party that's coming in here. This person is also attached to a water sign, could possibly be a Scorpio. It does not have to be. I'm just saying it is next to the Scorpio card, the Death card. And we also have the Emperor Aries energy here, fire energy and water. It's almost like trying to make a transition of this Emperor energy that connects with this Empress. It's almost like two paths are kind of crossing here. The attachment of some form of a new creation. It has to do with the past, but really deep down inside, this person is feels bound to something here with this Queen of Cups here. They're like a third party attachment to this Queen of Cups. So they're both like interfering energies between G Dragon and Jenny here. Interfering them from being able to have any type of like even solid communication. The current energy between G Dragon and Jenny. There's talk of wanting to overcome a challenge between them, this battle, this conflict. The current energy between G-Dragon and Jenny, please. It's almost like wanting to take these extra energies out, the ones that has stirred some form of drama between them involved with the past. This has become a cycle and is being looked into, but it's not, it's trying to be in like stealth mode of looking further into this. Trying to figure out how to really all in all like get around this situation. There is like a powerful, strong confession that wants to be made. And once that is made, it's going to create a burden on this water sign here. I'm hearing they're going to hate it. But there's healing that's wanting to be brought in. I can just overall in general see this emperor as just basically wanting to really just take control of the situation. Of what's been started and wanting to end it, close it out, bring in healing. And it looks like Jenny already does not trust any type of crossroads that this Queen of Cups pleases for. It's almost like this person, I can see this person looking to really like boast a lot.
it looks like Jenny wants to also transition the energies and move it forward between them to the next stage. But it's almost like they have to reconnect before they would do so. But this Queen of Pentacles that's here is showing up as Jenny. She is scared to move forward. G-Dragon is scared. I'm hearing actually petrified. I don't know why petrified would be used for either one of them, but I don't know them. I don't really know what goes, goes on between them. Um, so, time will tell. Sure, something will come out in the news about it. That's how it usually goes at times. So now we're going to move on to looking into G-Dragon's energy towards Jenny. What is G-Dragon's current energy towards Jenny, please? G-Dragon's current energy. So yeah, Queen of Wands is victorious here, successful with this Emperor energy. Looks like they're bringing in some sort of proposal here. G Dragon's current energy towards Jenny. Can I ask the question first? <laughs> G Dragon's current energy towards G Jenny, please. G Dragon's current energy towards Jenny. I wonder if this is her showing up as him seeing her as an equal half here because he's a fire sign and the only court card that's showing up here is the Queen of Wands. Put that information to the side. Then here we see about how valuable this Queen of Wands energy is to his path, his journey. And there's love energy involved here. Some sort of information that involves with the love energy that's between them. There is this hidden energy, mysteriousness to it, that he sees. It says that if we're asking this question, it's coming out like this. It's telling me that G-Dragon currently, how energies are sitting. At this moment, he currently sees, feels, and thinks that Jenny could quite possibly be a compatible suitor for him. I think it's something that he wants to kind of take a risk on. He's willing to see if she will if she would basically be interested. Could you give us more insight on what's laid out here please? A stressful situation, very confusing on the mind as he sits in solitude thinking about this because he does really wish it. He sees himself as her other half, but things are very tricky because of certain third parties, which is still showing up as this damn Queen of Cups. It's like this Queen of Cups comes in and tries to transition the energies between them. It's almost like this Queen of Cups finds out and he's afraid 
that she's going to basically have loose lips and slip up the tongue and basically beat him to it. Yeah, there's a lot of talks about it. But there's also worry and fear about things that have happened in the past and trying to be able to make a change. Leos are especially masculine, masculine, talk. Masculine Leos are currently going through this whole spat that they want to reclaim past energies and try to restart it over again. Try to basically find forgiveness and things that they have done in the past to person. You'd like to see victory and, and a win with Jenny's energy connected to his. What is Jenny's current energy towards G-Dragon, please? It looks like she wants to talk, too. It's going to create a crossroad on both parties. It looks like she has something that she wants to say to him, too. It does involve moving towards a valuable healing. Almost like receiving an answers to questions that were left unanswered. Queen of Wands keeps showing up. It's holding on tight to the ability of making good decisions in this situation. Okay. You're going to see the partnership and the union from a different perspective. And realize in solitude that it's kind of a burden. Because this Queen of Wands here, this energy that's showing up on Jenny's side, definitely see that they are not, or at least Jenny's not happy, separated. G-Dragon's, sorry, Jenny's energy towards G-Dragon, please. Okay. This Queen of Cups is back. This Queen of Cups creates burdens on things that are fantasized, especially in the public eye here. Creates fear in Jenny's eyes for what could occur and also the potential future between her and G Dragon. Being very patient, but knowing that it's going to be drawing in conflict in the battle. This path is a project, and it's very sneaky and tricky for in order to be successful at this. So it's like walking on eggshells, having to tiptoe around this water sign here. So now I'd like to finish out by looking into the future between them. Could you tell us the future energy between Jenny and G-Dragon, please? The future energy between G-Dragon and Jenny. Almost like there's a third party communication line here. Hidden help is helping with 
what looks like Jenny's side and G Dragon's side. So there's somebody that's like a monkey in the middle here. A messenger, if you will. Yeah. Information about her new creation here that had brought any type of disappointment, pains. It's almost like learning about what she is upset about, what she's happy about, how she heals in the dark. It's almost like learning about her. It's a happy project. Everything he finds out makes him happy, but it's still a tricky route. Doing this is going to create pain, disappointment in this water sign here. You're going to feel a lot of apathy while G-Dragon continues to heal on this path. He's holding on very tightly to it. He, he has a wish fulfillment. It's almost like he's been out in the cold for long enough. It could... If, if G-Dragon's able to communicate with Jenny, if he's already not communicating with her, it would be like a blessing for him, but not so much for this Queen of Swords and her path. It's almost like she'll have to face her worst fears. It's almost like... I could kind of see this Queen of Cups here hearing something through the grapevine first and then confronting him. And then really getting the full answer. I'm gonna turn this Queen of Cups world around. Totally change it around. Definitely a third party connection between G Dragon and Jenny. This Queen of Cups here is showing up. But it looks like they are making some sort of positive move in, or even motion, if you would, in the path between them with trying to reconnect. Putting energy into reviving this situation, reviving this energy, recalling this earth energy back, which, with what we're asking, and future energy between them, I would only suspect that this earth energy that's showing up would be Jenny herself. It's Queen of Cups, though. I do not know. Um, it seems as though it's somebody that is fairly current, somebody that is currently close to him. In their feminine energy that is a water sign so anyways that is where we're going to leave this reading off at if you found yourself enjoying please do me a favor hit that like button share comment subscribe you guys um down below again information for personal readings and social media platforms are all down below uh, social media platforms i have been doing pretty good on posting up tarot scopes or tarot scopes what i typed last time um I kind of like that tarot scope. So, anyway, check it out. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If you resonate, you resonate. If you don't, you don't. So, anyhow, as per usual, until next time, you guys, I'll be just here. Bye bye.